Fresh Kid C, Fresh Kid C, yes, sir. Fresh Kid P, Fresh Kid T. Oh yeah, we back. Oh, and Zaphone, by the way. Yeah, Jones. <laughs> Hello YouTube, this is Creations P. Seeger here today, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get cool gun effects and everything on your uh, on your computer. So um, these effects will be done through uh, Movie Maker and also through GIMP, which is the free alternative to Photoshop. So if you have Photoshop, you can also use that, but if you don't, you can download GIMP for free. And uh, Windows Movie Maker is also free and probably the only reason you're watching this is so you can do stuff like this in Movie Maker. So, um, here's some what the effects are going to look like right here. So, uh, yeah. Now we're just going to move right on over to the uh, computer. And, um, I'm just going to show you how to do everything. So let me move to the uh, computer cam. Okay, so now that we're over here at the computer, um, you're going to want to pull up uh, Movie Maker, just like that, and you're going to want to import the file that you want to be working with, which has the gun in it. So you're going to import video, and find the video. This one's just going to be a test run right here, just for this. Okay, so um, you're going to want to put your video down into the timeline. There you go. And you're going to want to stretch it out just a little bit. So zoom in like that as far as you can go. So it's nice and stretched out and you can see every second. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to a frame all right, right there I would have shot so back it up to the frame where I'm actually shooting all right right here right before the recoil so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to take a picture over here it says uh, take picture and then you're gonna want to put that as I mean anything I have all these already in here. See, it says like these are all different ones, but it says, um, yeah, all of that stuff. So it's put, I guess, test gun one. Okay, so that's gonna be the first one. You're gonna hit save. So now you have the save picture of this actual thing, and then uh, right after that, you're gonna want to go back over here and you're gonna splice it right there, so it's two different pieces. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to GIMP real quick. And GIMP is right here, GIMP2, which is also a free download. I'll have that in the description if you don't already have this. Whew, that's not too good. Okay. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open that file that uh, we just made. So you're going to hit open and then it was gun test right here you don't want to open that okay now you're going to want to make this full screen for this entire thing so how you do that is you hit shift control e and here you go it's a little bit blurry because it's not too high quality but yeah okay so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have a um a flash pretty much that's going to be coming off of the gun the muzzle fire so to find that you're going to go to the internet and you're just going to look up muzzle flash okay see you have all these pictures so I mean this one right here not that one let's go to images this is the one that I have that's right here this one right here so you're just going to want to uh, save that as and then um, we're going to go back over here to GIMP and you're going to hit file open as layers so it's going to actually be on the picture and then you're going to want to find it, I have muzzle flash right here, you're going to hit open and it's going to be really big 
So what you're going to want to do is you're going to come over here and it says uh, scale tool. You're going to want to scale this down. It's going to get smaller and smaller and hit scale. And you're going to want to move it back over so you can do it some more. Do the scale tool. Really small. Scale. Back up. Pretty small. And then scale. So um, now we, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get rid of this background, the black background that's on it. And make sure it has a black background or this won't work correctly. So what you're going to do is you can go over to Windows. If, it, if this isn't already open, but it, for mine it isn't, um, then it's going to say this right here. And that's going to pull up this, which is just a, another little window thing, just like your toolbox. And you're going to want to make sure the muzzle flash is selected right here. And you're going to go down to this drop down arrow. And it's going to say screen right here. And that's going to make, see, made all the black go away. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back over here and we're going to hit the uh, move tool. We're just going to move this right in front of the muzzle of the gun, right in front of the barrel. Just like that. And I mean that looks pretty good. Um, you can get a little bit more serious and you can put like smoke effects and everything but just for this purpose I'm just showing you how to do this really quick. So there's one flash right there. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to hit file, save, and you're going to hit export, move this, move the quality of the JPEG up to 100 just so it looks better, and then uh, hit save. Now to get this back, alright, so what you're going to do now is you're going to come back over to Movie Maker just like this, and you're going to get the picture that you just made which is test gun one which I've just done and you're going to want to drag that in between the two cut clips that you have so right there it's like that okay now what you're going to want to do is see how long that is you're going to want to drag this to the smallest increment that you can just like that okay now um, I'll just play that over really quick and see if that yep that works just fine Okay, now you're going to want to search on Google um, a sound that would go with your gun. I have a couple sounds. I have reloading sounds and all kinds of MP3s that I've gotten off of Google. And um, the one that actually sounds the best for this gun is actually a Glock sound. So I have a Glock MP3 up here. And you're going to want to drag this down to the timeline. And then you're going to want to shorten it to a little bit past the actual picture because sound travels slower than light okay now that's together and you're gonna want to play it again make sure everything sounds correctly that's good okay and I'm only gonna do the uh, the first shot of this because just for time's sake on YouTube and uh, just for memory wise on my computer but uh, that right there seems to be just fine so what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to come over to File, and you're going to hit uh, Save Movie File instead of Save well, Save Project, of course. But you're going to want to save the movie file, just like that, and it's going to say uh, My Computer. Yep. Um. Put whatever name of the file it is, and in My Videos. Oh, it already exists. Okay. Now you hit Next. Um. Now this is a plugin that I already have that I watched a tutorial on YouTube. I figured out how to get this and everything, so you can go and do that. And uh, it's going to export mine in 720p. So I'm going to hit uh, next, and then it's going to save your movie. It's just taking a little while because my hypercam is up and it's really slowing down my computer.
And, uh, alright, there we go. And then, um, I don't want to watch the video right now. But, if you wanted to, you would just hit finish. But, there you go, hit finish. So, uh, this has been Creations PC. I've shown you how to make muzzle flashes in Movie Maker using GIMP 2 and uh, Windows Movie Maker for XP. Um, all of the uh, links will be in the description to get GIMP or if you need Movie Maker to get Movie Maker. Um, it's a fairly easy process. I should have another video up in a couple of days that will show you how to do smoke and GIMP and also apply that to your actual video. So, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, you know what to do, and uh, I'll see you in my next video.